bro, Photoshop just dropped its generative AI field tool. And what that means is that anybody with little to no design skill can now get really crazy with designs. And I'm about to take you step by step on how to use it and what it can do. So let's jump right on the computer. Photoshop, honestly, that much more beginner friendly. So it says dream bigger with generative fill, quickly create, add to, remove, replace images right in Adobe Photoshop with simple text prompts powered by Adobe Firefly generative AI. So pretty much dream it, see it, type it, but I'm about to take you right into our first hustle. Now, I'm sure you've heard of Reddit, and if not, Reddit is an awesome community. However, there's different subreddits, and there's one called Photoshop Requests where people have all these random Photoshop requests, and they pay designers to make those quick adjustments to pictures or whatever. So this is a matter of quality and speed. And what this new tool I'm about to show you does is make that to where this is gonna be easy pickings. And it's already kind of getting scary, right? Because it's funny when I open this, this one is the one that pops up. It says, could you, could someone please make my wife into a realistic sculpture statue will tip $50 for a perfect one, right? So the image that has to be the winner is this one, right? And it is AI generated, right? And I'm about to show you just a really quick, simple kind of step-by-step -step guide on how this person may have done this, right? So I'm gonna come over here to this image and I sort of already, and I already have it in Photoshop beta, which is what you're gonna need. So if you don't have the creative cloud, it is definitely becoming more and more worth it every day to have, right? So with this in here, this is way beginner friendly from when I started learning Photoshop, but it's simple. We're gonna hit select subject and it's gonna carve out our girl. Now you used to have to do a pen tool to get a selection is good, but I'm not gonna complain. So I'm gonna come over here to this layer and I'm gonna hit Command J or Control J if you're on a Windows and then boom, now I have our girl isolated on her background. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command or Control and I'm gonna hover over it right here and then I'm gonna have it selected because that's when you can use generative fill. Now I'm gonna make a new layer. I created a new layer with this button and I'm gonna hit generative fill and I'm gonna do statue sculpt, statue sculpture, white, marble, and then see what it comes back with. Now, while that's creepy looking, it's also crazy that it did that, right? So I'm gonna roll with this one since this one is the best, although it could use some work. And keep in mind, I would probably not win, but even this is insane. So I'm gonna turn off these layers and I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna come over here to the lasso the magic wand tool, sorry, and then kind of just take the tolerance way down and kind of delete just some of this stuff out. All right, so now let's make a background, right? So I'm gonna turn this on and we're just gonna go over here. And I kind of want it shiny, kind of like the model. So I'll go plastic, black texture, shiny, marble back. And then boom, it brought us back some pretty good sort of images. I like this one, I like this one. And so once again, we wouldn't win but even something like this is just a dope piece of art anyway, right? But we're gonna do something more practical because realistically, that probably took him a little time. So we're gonna go over here to the new section and like right here, took my friend's portrait but didn't notice the pole coming out of her head until editing $10 tip to remove it, right? So we're gonna go to copy image and we're gonna paste that in. And then we're gonna come over here and use the lasso tool this time. And I'm just gonna select this pole. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna hit gender to fill, but I'm not even gonna put anything in there because the, the way this tool works also, if you're familiar with Photoshop, you, you're familiar with content aware tool, but it is not as good as this. Watch this. Boom. This image looks just like new, right? So, so I'm actually just gonna screenshot this image and send it to this person so he can have options. I'm not even gonna watermark it or nothing like that. Like you can even see here that it just looks kind of, you can tell that it's not perfect, right? So I believe out of all of these, I think we would have got that money because look how flawless this one is. Like you can't tell nothing was wrong. So you could essentially camp out in this sub and just make maybe a hundred dollars a day just doing this. All right, so on to the next hustle. I bet you're wondering what are we doing on Pexels.com. Pexels is a royalty-free stock site, and I'm about to show you how you can take these images and turn them 
completely into something else and you can sell these images especially if you have a target audience that you can sell them to right so okay boom let's take this image we're gonna close it out and we're gonna hit new file on it and then we're gonna paste that in right so we can make a new layer and let's do right here let's do tesla style futuristic cyber truck no i don't like that don't like that okay that's that's pretty decent i'm rocking with that all right so that don't have to be all we can kind of come here with the lasso tool again kind of paint on the ground and let's say let's do water pond flex and then do generate and then boom you see it's like kind of made in these like realistic it's made in like this realistic kind of pond and you got this you got that it's not not close close and i'm gonna water pond leg right boom okay so boom we added in like a little puddle right here maybe look made it look like it's raining or had just rained and so now we can take it a step further let's say we want to do something different with these mountains select these mountains and then let's go let's see what skyscraper boom okay so it's kind of like just completely turning this image into something else right so we don't have to be done we can come here and just for realism kind of add kind of coming off to the side here let's do let's try vegas scene and then over here let's do nfl stadium and that didn't work so we'll go casino bright sign and we can just do we do skyscraper hotel i'm just trying to put something in there now just to show y'all how deep we can go and it's like crazy how it even matches like the image perspective bro like that's insane but the final touch is i maybe up here I put private jet. And then now that this is starting to look like a movie poster, all these, I'm gonna group these so I can turn it off. All this came from this image, bro. And like to make this all look right and like it's in the same image and all of that, bro, this used to maybe take, this would probably take an hour or two hours, but you see doing it this way, you could sell this image to someone. Now I kind of went overboard, but you could have honestly, you could have had you a good stock image just right here or even you know in the mountains like because that's more unique so you could even say let me, let me do snowing mount that's one that's one that's one but that's incredible bro just how that changes and then let's say we want to give this sky more personality let's say icy blue windy sky that's cool that's cool that's cool and now i kind of want to make no put no that's what happens no so we just completely changed this image bro this is insane all right so this next hustle i'm gonna actually kill two birds in one stone i'm gonna show you how easy it is now to create logos and use these logos as kind of merch start your own merch line right getting a designer used to be the hardest part but what, what bro with ai all you need is base skill right so we're gonna draft something up from scratch and we're gonna do cartoon style broken heart. Oh, that's kind of hard. That's kind of just, that's abstract. I like that, right? We already like in no time have something pretty nice. Now I'm gonna move middle and I'm gonna add tech. And I'm gonna, let's say we're calling brand heartless, but I'm gonna go for say tour. So I find I like that. So make bigger that way. And I'm at a hook off and make online. But can't see them. So I'm gonna come over here, select this top one. Make that cup pink. And I'm gonna do a white stroke. Five. I'm gonna come down, hustle thing. Cup overlay. Grab color. Stroke. Half stroke. So now get rid of background layer. Get rid of back well. Boom. And I've got that. So I'm gonna come over here. And once again, this is a really quick kind of design. And now design. And I'm gonna save design off. So just to play around with design, we kind of see it already look good on T, right? So how you can start your brand. We can use a service like Printful to instantly launch our merch shop right so i'll show you how to do that so we're gonna hit the product catalog and we're gonna do women's clothes we're gonna do this hood. this is actually an all over print but we're not even gonna go over that to NBA template and we're just simply gonna upload design we're gonna upload our image over here and then continue white it so that other thing that hoodie went haywire on me so here i am sure kind of saying hot like pot side or we could even do large side middle but it kind of shows and then boom it's direct to garment from here save your product template and technically have your line up and running just like that and so when it comes to this bro we could do a lot more let's do a wooden table top and my i like that I like that like right here and then the background let's do crowded restaurant, restaurant out focus okay that one white background here i'm gonna come right here i'm about to just create i'm what i'm doing is creating like a product ad for maybe one of my friends who might cater food or do foods let's say he has a five dollar burger fry and milkshake deal we're gonna create the scratch right so we'll go right here we'll outline for the burger gonna feel let's cheese 
cheeseburger. I left that back. All right, and so it's still AI. It could listen better, but still, I'm sure I could honestly come here to this. Say, hey, but we'll roll, we'll roll with it just for the speed of this tutorial, right? So then, right here, let's do small cup. A small cup right there, because I'm gonna make it try to make it look as anti possible. And then I'll do right here. I'll put a fry. I like this one better, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. And then right here, I'm gonna add all the way up here, make it look really nice. I'm gonna double. I go draw right here. And I'm gonna do go draw. Then I let's see the different variations. And then I'm gonna even get petty and draw. Boom. So I add any draw. And now I can actually come with text. Say, I can come over here and do 599. And that's making me have enough else on that. So boom, here we go. I just created an ad. There's no reason that any designer can't get at least 10, 15 bucks for these. And if you get with somebody who says, hey, I'm gonna need a lot of these, then you've got yourself an easy hustle even with this. So make y'all let me know what y'all about. Ray Field, Tom Boy Rico. Love